Okay, starting turn number nine with Arjun. And we're not in great shape. We're probably most certainly not going to win this adventure, but we'll, we'll, we'll take it as far as we can and see what happens. So Arjun's going to attack the skeleton that's adjacent to him, just using Tide of Iron. Tide of Iron. He gets a plus eight on that attack. Unfortunately, skeletons have a 16, so that's pretty high. So we need a decent roll to hit. And that's a decent roll. So 14 and 8 is 22. That's uh, going to be enough to hit. Wait. Yeah. Yep, 22. Just checking my math there. Uh, more than enough to take down the skeleton. And so the skeleton goes down. That's really good because Cabin will transform, or the young vampire will transform back. So we have, uh, we have that. So let's go ahead and update. So the skeleton's gone, so we didn't use a surge. We attacked, we killed, so we get treasure. So let's draw some treasure. Lucky find, draw three, keep one. So we've seen that before. So one, two, three. These all look terrible. Fortunes and blessings just rarely do anything. Look at the top three until the end. You can move your speed. Yeah, these are all junk. Yeah, this doesn't help at all, so that gets discarded. Until the end of your next hero phase, each hero gains plus two on attack rolls. We'll use this one. We'll, we'll look at the top three monsters and put them back in any order we want. Alright, so top three monsters. One, two, three. Oh man. Actually, they were in pretty good order as they were, so we'll just put them back how they came out. So, yeah. Oh boy. Okay, so... Now Arjun is going to move up to the Dark Fountain. Um, no, he's not. He can't do that because, dang, this rule sucks. He has to stay put and burn a turn because Cavan doesn't trans... or you know, the young vampire doesn't transform until the beginning of our villain phase. So if I move now, he's not going to follow me. So we're going to stay put. Uh, so hard. Um, now at the end of our villain uh, hero phase, which is now ending, we have to draw a monster card and place it within two tiles of us. That's going to be the Cobalt Skirmisher. So Cobalt Skirmisher within two tiles of us. So we'll put it over here. Alright, so we have... Sliding walls and cobalt skirmisher. So we're not exploring, so no new tile, which means no new monster, which means we have a forced encounter, which we cannot cancel. But at the beginning of our villain phase, Cat, uh, the young vampire transforms back into Cavan. Yeah, you just have this. You're just gonna have to burn so many turns. There's no way you're gonna get rid of five hit points off that thing. You can't. You can't live that long in this game. It's just not possible. Anyway, now we play our encounter, and we can't do anything about it. Whatever it is, we have to take it. We don't have five experience anymore. Strahd's minions. Place the active hero and the two monsters that are closest to that hero on the tile farthest from the active hero. I'm ready to quit. If there are less than two monsters in play, place a new monster adjacent to the active hero after he or she is placed. I quit. There's no way. I, I, I have to now move Arjun all the way over here. And then I have to live long enough to get back. It's, there's no way. I quit. It's impossible. So that is the end of Adventure 5.
looking forward to moving on to Adventure 6.